Okay, now I'm going to do the dive. I'm going to try my best to keep the hands out of it, but... Alright, this is my cylinder. It's about a 3 8 It's a double cross cut. Now, notice that I'm going to try to get the valve angle, the 23 degrees. I'm going to raise up, and I'm going to start chopping about halfway up the ramp of the guide. I'm going to stay there for a while. Alright, see how I'm actually cutting the guide. Now if you look right beside of it, I'm going to try to pull it in. See how I'm going to go across. I'm going to try to keep that in the picture, but mainly right now I'm staying with the guy and it looks like I'm going to have to come up because I'm trying to get this in the viewfinder and man, it is not easy. I hope doing it like this scares me. I don't want to bust it through. Mr. Imhoff, I believe, would about have a fit if I did that. Alright, now I'm about level with the bulk of that guide and what's left of the tail. Now I'm going to go across, okay, all the way. Now, Right about now is when I go in there and just by feeling my fingers, I'm going to feel the depth, okay? Alright, going back and forth, that's going to tell me, now there is, there is a precision gauge in a way you do it, but I know just by feel about how far to push it, and, okay... These are razor sharp carbides. It looks like I'm not spending much time, but it's because they're just sharp. They are digging the fire out of it. Okay. I keep trying to Watch the viewfinder there. I got just a little bit more digging. Uh, let me see. More so right in here. Alright. Now if you look at them, notice how I kept this just like this one. I need to go back and touch that. Ah, uh, that's one thing I catch myself doing all the time. Once I get one cut and go to the next one and start to cut, and I start getting it where I want it, I have to go back and touch the other one. All right, but that right there sets both of them. They're pretty close to the same. All right, now let's get a close-up look at it. That's about as close as I can get you without fogging. I can tell you right now that I have raised that roof right at 100 to 125 thousandths. I am not going to go no further than that because I am playing with fire and God if I busted through I'd have to stop and after the coating's already applied which is something I don't normally do but it, uh, if I had to weld it it would burn all the coating off so let's just be careful. Alright, that's what I wanted to show you. Now I've dug that trench. Now here's the amazing part. You figure I'd turn the head around right now and come back. I'm actually going to round the guide, which is what I'm fixing to show you next, and blend from that trench up and get that done. Guess what we got to do? Got to turn it around and cut to that point up and cut for the tubes. You have to do the tube cut and get that done. Then that's after that, then I'll come back, turn it the other way, and level the roof and raise it up. That's what I was talking about. It's kind of a weird thing, because if I went and raised the roof first and then try to go back and trench it, I'm liable to bust through. This kind of gives me meat that I don't dig too far by keeping it that way, so when I'm putting 
the tube in there, it don't let me dig too high on the roof. It's going to act like a like a guardrail to keep me from going too crazy with it. All right, I'll go ahead and do the rest of them like that, and then I'm going to come back uh, and take the cylinder, and I'm going to round the top and chew it and pull the top in like the cylinder done on the sides, and then that's pretty much I'll blend this, and then I'll uh, stop and finish do whatever little bit of bow work I got to do and then we'll have now you've seen where I dug the trench on the top now let's form the guide we're only going to be able to use the cylinder for a certain part we're going to try to bring in there and pull in there I cannot use it here or I'll bust through so let's try to get us a little bit of focus I will do my best to keep this out of your way See, it's just leveling. You know what, I'm going to switch to a little sharper carbide on the sides. It's like getting time where I'm fixing to have to send a bunch of them off to sharpen. See, I'm starting at the back. You got to pull it all the way to the very tippy top. Notice how I was pushing down right here, like I showed in the in the drawing, and pulling it in, and then up here on the side, I'm gonna try to pull it in. Now, that is as far as I can get on the side. What I've got to do now is switch, and I'm gonna switch to an egg. The, the small egg is going to let me get in on the sides right here and I'm going to get to gnaw on this wall so I'm going to be hitting a downward stroke here and then going in there and moving that wall over and taking the trench out but man does this take a little bitty egg or what? let's see what we got all right that's going to be our baby right there. Notice how it barely fits. So I've got to pull that wall in a little bit and then come in here and touch and pull around it. Now, I'm trying to figure out, I'm going to have to reposition the camera for you to let you see how I get that. I can tell that right off the bat. So let's see what I can do here so you can witness and see what it is exactly that I'm doing. All right, hey, I'm gonna do the best that I can. This is where it gets really hard trying to get it. Now notice I'm gonna work on that wall.
Now that right there is where I dug that trench. Now when I run my finger in there, guess what? Trench is gone. So now what I got to do is go in here and pull that guide shape in because now I can take this burr. difference I got a port over here one that I had just started the trench and the top was still done now look at how it's blended hate to say it but gotta pat myself on the back because that is butamous all right notice how I roll the floor it's level from that point on level right here and then a perfect round and contour look at how this one you know where I trim the sides didn't touch the top but touch the trench you can just tell, look at the, the, the step there to there and to there. Now this thing is starting to look like a real port that's going to kick ass and flow some numbers. So I got to do that step right there and then guess what? I can't go no further in here. Now we got to turn the head over, drill this hole right here for the tubes and tear that wall out because of this reason. Notice where the step goes and ends right here goes right in to where the tube's going to be. That's why I can't go in here and raise the roof yet because I'm going to be digging right here and that's going to act like a, a guardrail to keep me from digging too big, lowering it to put the tube in. So next step's going to be the tubes. Pretty much the bowls guide relationship to the roof. All that's done. The only thing left it'll be is when I do the valve job going back in here and touching this last half inch up. So let's go on in and get ready. Uh, the next thing you'll see me do is starting to set it up for the tubes.